From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Cerullo. And I'm Keith Farmer. Tonight, Coach Stoops is excited about the new look of his offense, and you're going to hear why. And you'll also hear interviews with offensive coordinator Liam Cohen and Darian Kennard of the Big Blue Wall. Yeah. Now, after a day off, Kentucky football was back in action at spring practice today. We've got an exciting recap for tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. Coach Mark Stoops couldn't contain his enthusiasm for this group. Here's what he told Keith after today's practice. I'm not just saying this. I know each and every time I talk to, to you all and talk to the media, I'm, you know, got a, got a little excitement in my voice. But today we really uh, pushed the ball down the field, threw the ball, got the ball down the field better than we have in years. So uh, really pleased with the progress. How exciting is that? I mean, you know, to see that. I mean, you, you do talk about it. You do get excited. Very much. Uh, very much. We work hard. And again, I think it, it, it comes from the mentality and the attitude of the team. And, and it's really good. But uh, it's also... Uh, fun to see uh, the execution getting better and better in us completing those balls down the field and getting guys open, guys making competitive catches and, and you know, not just having success from one side, maybe, you know, not executing or not doing well. You're seeing guys making plays and getting, uh, making competitive catches when they're covered and uh, also some really good throws. So uh, overall, you know, very excited. Now, Keith, this is awesome. I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever heard Stoops like this consistently this excited. It sounds like Liam Cohen is already having a big impact pretty early. Yeah, I think he likes everything that he heard from him when he came and he interviewed for the job with those yeah. hundreds and hundreds of plays that he had. Yeah. And I think now he's excited to see it actually taking place. And he's excited to see his quarterbacks making plays. Uh, you know, he said that, that his quarterbacks are just Chucking the ball downfield, we guys are making it. great catches, so it's going to be interesting to watch. All right, and maybe Kentucky receiver Wondell Robinson is a big part of Stoops' excitement. The Nebraska transfer and former top 100 recruit is getting rave reviews, for, reviews from teammates, including defensive end Josh Paschal. Something that I want y'all to know is that Wondell Robinson is a great football player. He's he's going to be the truth. Um, I believe that uh, he's a humble guy. Um, I, my lock is right next to him, so I talk to him a lot. And you know, today he had, excuse my language, but he had a hell of a play today. Uh, he jumped up between two defenders and caught a post, and I was, I was like, wow. It was like nothing. It was, it was. I was like, look, he made a play. Let's go to the next because he's going to be a special player for sure. And Anna, everyone that talks about Wandell always has a big smile on their face. You know, I, I can't wait to see him in his first game at Kroger Field. Me too, and I'm sure he's so happy to be coming home. I definitely understand that. Uh -huh. And everybody needs a guy like that. Bring a little bit of excitement to oh, the locker room. A glue guy. Sure. Yeah. And one of the new faces on the sidelines this offseason is Liam Cohen. I had the chance to sit down with the new man in charge of Kentucky's offense today. All right, Coach. Well, um, another uh, you know couple of practices in, and, and so what are you seeing from installing a new offense? I'll tell you what, the kids have just been great. I mean, in, in terms of getting up here, getting some extra work in, getting with the coaches. I mean, obviously a lot of this stuff is new for these kids, and um, they've just done a great job of just doing everything we ask them to do. I mean, you could tell the effort's there. Uh, this this program doesn't have an issue with effort. It doesn't. I mean, these kids practice hard. They do things the right way out on the field. You don't have to coach effort with these guys and that's that's a testament to coach Stoops in this program but uh, so far so good there's always some things that we can clean up and you know teaching some new techniques and fundamentals and obviously big picture scheme but so far so good. Coach Stoops gets so excited when he, he's talking about uh, even today he said that, that the way they were passing, catching, throwing downfield. He, he gets excited about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think anytime uh, you're a head coach you, and you're a defensive head coach, you know maybe some of the things that stress defense is. Um, and, and shoot, you know, this isn't anything really revolutionary, but just learning from Sean McVay of, of really understanding defenses, fits, fallbacks, coverage, understanding what makes the defense tick ultimately makes you a better offensive football coach. And obviously still learning every day with Coach Brad White, who does a such a good job on defense. We communicate all the time about what, hey, what are these things that stress you on defense? What are the things that stress us on offense? So trying to collaborate this thing together to ultimately put out the best product. You know, everybody's always going to be concerned about quarterbacks, but, but, and, and you're long from naming a guy who's going to be under center, but 
What, what did these guys give you, if you wouldn't care to just share about each of the quarterbacks and what you see from them out in practice? Yeah, I think starting with Joey Gatewood, I mean, just a kid that he's just such a big presence. His body type, uh, he, when you stand up next to him, you're just like, man, this kid's enormous. And then he's got a big arm. You know, he can really throw the football. It's natural. Uh, I've really been pleased with him and his command, actually, over the huddle. For somebody who hasn't even played in a huddle or been under center, uh, maybe ever, his his command over the last couple practices has really taken a turn. Uh, Bo Allen's a kid that just tries to do everything right and almost sometimes have to just say, hey, bro, just relax a little bit, Bo. It's okay. You miss a throw. Just relax. Play the next play. But kid that came back, I jumped him a little bit today after missing a throw and came back and threw a bomb to Wandell and under, under duress and under pressure. And I've really been pleased with him both on and off the field. Uh, Nick Scalzo has done a great job in terms of he's got some stuff to him now. He's just got a little bit of wiggle and he's got some moxie which really helps and he can change his arm slot do some different things throwing the football Kaya Sharon's a big athletic kid who can really throw the football I mean that kid is natural throwing the ball been really pleased with his development and Pat Delahunt is a kid that just continues to do the things you know consistent day in and day out came out spinning it today did some good things so been pleased with the group so far everybody just says Wandell's the real deal. I mean, does he get you excited with some things you can do? There's no doubt. You know, there's no doubt that you have a kid, type of kid like that that's just so dynamic. Be able to, he's not just a gadget guy. He, that, he can really get the ball down the field. For a little guy, you know, a smaller guy, he plays big. He plays big. It's tough to put your hands on him. And, and the thing I love about Wandell the most is he loves to play the game and he loves to learn the game. He was extremely well coached. He's still being well coached. And he's just the type of kid, he's always a gym rat. He just wants to be around football. We can move him around and do so many different things with him because of his football IQ and knowledge. Can you get the sense of the excitement from the fan base about the offense and it's not even really been seen yet? Yeah, I mean, it's, I hope, um, I'm always in the, in the world of undersell over deliver. You know, but it's great to have excitement. It's great to have the fans involved and, and get the kids excited. And that's ultimately, uh, it's part of it. You know, it's part of it. Now, we haven't scored a point yet or gained the first, yard, uh, first down, but ultimately it, it is exciting to have some chatter and to get a little bit of juice going around the program. And obviously they've been successful. They didn't really truly need me. It's just they needed something else. And that was at the end of the day is this was the right fit. And I think it's been great so far. And the fans have been fantastic. Well, what's it been like working with the new coaches? I mean, it, it's, you're all new to each other, but I mean, obviously a lot of new coaches, they're together on that side of the ball. Yeah, I mean, I think it's been a pretty solid collaboration right now. Obviously, there's a couple coaches that are already on staff when I got here. Uh, brought in a couple coaches from uh, either my past or, you know, John Settle from Wisconsin. And uh, I think it's been a good, solid mesh right now. I mean, it's new for all of us. I mean, they've just been fantastic for me as an ally to just, hey, how do these kids tick? How can we really get through to them in terms of how do, what are their study habits? How do they learn? Is it visual? Is it on the board? Is it repetition? Really trying to get to the core of these kids to learn about how they really tick and what makes them go. And man, life's coming at you fast. Uh, you know, it new is. job, you get the move. Yeah. You get a fiance. I know. And what a cool video that was when you found out oh, you have a little quarterback. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what ultimately, I mean, obviously I'd be totally thrilled with having a girl, but I, you know, when you're an uh, only child's son from a football family, it's not the worst thing in the world to have a baby boy coming into, coming into the world. So I couldn't be more excited for uh, my fiance, Ashley, and I. Keith, you said this. Everyone has a smile on their face. Talking yeah. about Wanda, we saw it right there. Yeah, yeah. Not only that, but you just get the excitement from him. I mean, he mm -hmm. is a football guy yeah. that's eaten up with it, and he just loves to talk football. And, and I think that's part of his connection. You can see For with sure. the players as we saw him mic'd up mm -hmm. yesterday. So a lot of fun to see him yeah. and, and get to talk to Definitely. him. Definitely, and I love the part about effort's not a problem at Kentucky. No, nope. who doesn't love to hear that? Yes. Well, coming up next on Vivian tonight, we're not done with the offensive side of the ball. Let's see our exclusive one-on-one -on -one with returning. Offensive lineman Darian Kennard when we return.